Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. Today I'm going to touch on the subject of appealing a trustee decision. Trustees have wide powers to make decisions for the body corporate under section 39.1 of the Act and I'll just give you the text of that. The functions and powers of the body corporate shall, subject to the provisions of this Act, the rules and any restriction imposed or direction given at a general meeting of owners of sections, be performed and exercised by the trustees of the body corporate holding office in terms of the rules. So let me give you a few examples of the things that they can do. They can borrow money. The money must of course be required for the performance of body corporate functions or the exercise of its powers. Here look at section 38E, read with uh, section 39.1. They can raise special levies. In this case the expenses must be necessary and unbudgeted. Look at section 27, 2A and 2B, read with prescribed management rule 31.4B. They can decide to sue in respect of any contract, any damage to the common property, and any matter in regard to the land and buildings in the scheme, any ar issue arising from the exercise of the body corporate's functions or powers. Here look at section 36, 6A, B, C and D. They can give permission to an owner to keep an animal, reptile or bird and in that process set reasonable conditions and they can in fact withdraw the approval if those conditions are breached. Um, the approval must in this case be in writing and that's under prescribed conduct rule 1. They can give consent to an owner to mark or paint or alter part of the common property presuming that that is a relatively minor alterations and that approval must be given in writing um, under prescribed conduct rule 4. They can, where the rules provide for it, impose finals or other penalties on owners um, who breach the rules. But what happens if an owner is unhappy with one of these decisions? The Act and the Prescribed Management Rules do not include an appeals procedure for decisions uh, taken by the trustees. So in practice owners have three options. The most expensive um, but the most heavy hitting one is to appeal that decision to the High Court and owners do have the right to do that if they feel that they are being prejudiced by a particular decision. They can declare a dispute in terms of prescribed management rule 71. Have a look at that. It has a process which should, in most cases, give you a relatively speedy result at relatively small cost. But do make sure um, that the people involved are not, are, are not going to um, charge excessively for the, for the period or, or, or treat it in too complicated a manner which will drive up the cost simply because there's more time spent on it. But the final option, which is the very cheapest, is to get the owners to give trustees a direction or place a restriction on them. The issue of restrictions and directions must be considered at each AGM and it can be dealt with at any special general meeting when notice of that business has been given. I look forward to discussing any issues that you have arising from this in the discussion forum. 